Hey guys, this is Strategist from Strategist Plays, and I'm playing my level 60 Undead Warlock Ominous. And, uh, trying to get into some uh, pre maids and I'm going kind of solo. Everybody's kind of like at their limit right now. And I'm trying to get some uh, PvP in. I don't think I'll make my rank 10 tomorrow, but the hope is still there. I'd like to make rank 10, but, you know, anything can happen. Um, if whoa, if not, my mouse is uh, kind of acting a little bit fast. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I'm hoping that I do make uh, next rank, but uh, most likely I don't think I will, unless I can get some serious uh, PvP in. So I already set myself up for Alterac Valley, but that's going to be about two hours away. And uh, yeah, this should be fun. So I did try to get the guild, uh, you know, to join up and everything, but unfortunately, again, they're they're at their limit, so they can't really do it. All right. Ah. New waves at me. So let me see if I can catch up to uh, new, which I did. Okay. So he should be all set. And let me get myself ready for PvP as well. I don't really have anything. <laughs> Meant to do this to myself. Give her strength. All right. So uh, yesterday I did molten core, and my wife had been laughing at me all this time because um, I have not gotten any items since last week. However, yesterday I did get this: the fell heart, the fell heart shoulder pads. So seventy-six armor, seventeen intellect, twenty-five stamina. 7 spirits plus 7 shadow resistance. I can barely speak right now. So increased damage and healing done by magical spells and effects by up to 9. Um, so right now with my succubus, I make 440 damage range. Um, I'm happy with it. Uh, my last one was just a plus 29 shadow uh, spell damage shoulder pads. And that's all I had. I didn't have any other stats with it. Um, which is it's great for adding plus 29 damage. Not so great for giving me more stamina, more intellect, or anything like that. So this is what I look like right now. My horns match my shoulder pads. Check that out. Dig that. So I'm uh, I'm happy. You know, I'm, they were hoping that the uh, pants and other items would drop so that I can get uh, the full power of the gear, which would be let's see, five items. I would get uh, seven, uh, 15 stamina for my pet, plus 100 spell resistance to all my pets, uh, which would be awesome um, and uh, full set of eight my spat uh, shadow I can't even talk my shadow spell uh, uh, my shadow spells would be reduced by 15% uh, yeah today I'm a little bit that's what you get when you eat something sweet and then you're trying to talk and you're like trying to get it out of your mouth at the same time that's what you get so I am actually off to uh, I can't even say it. Eastern Plague Lands. I just need to get a few items. So I, I do still value my Demonology spec. I still love it. I still think it's great. Totally worth it. If uh, you go lock, you definitely for more umph behind you and uh, more survivability go demonology there we go all right now i did want to cast um during the weekend uh but 
sure enough, while I was doing a raid yesterday, um, hold on, apparently I'm in combat. So, anyway, uh, I, I wanted to um, record and uh, put it live on uh, stream on Twitch uh, that we were doing uh, Molten Core, but um, again, lag, and I, I didn't want it to become an issue, uh, so I opted not to do it. I just don't want to deal with um, going, you know, just standing there like the last couple of times where... Well, we were doing a run. Bless you. We were doing a run, and sure enough, I uh, I was lagging out. Every other every other moment and experience for you guys was I was just standing there casting a spell that was not uh, gonna happen. So I uh, I become uh, more careful of that. I did look at my internet service provider to see if uh, they could give me more broadband, but it looks like I'm gonna have to call them because there's no option there for giving myself a little bit more uh, bandwidth so we shall see when I talk to them and uh, you know what maybe I'll just personally go there because uh, um, I don't want to be talking to anyone that's not in the US it's not a lot of fun at times and that's been my experience um, so sometimes it's better face to face and here, here's a tip guys um, I, I used to live in another area in Massachusetts and uh, I uh, I would visit my internet service provider, which at the time was uh, Comcast, and I became friends with a lot of the people there because they would see me all the time when I would drop by and you know make my payment. And uh, what was cool about it was that uh, anything, any new specials or anything they could do for me, um, they were kind enough to like help me out. So. I didn't even need to ask for them to hook me up or whatever. They, they liked me enough where it would be like, hey, by the way, we have the special going on. And then they would talk to me and and uh, they would give me plus. And the other thing was, if I was a little bit late on my payment, uh, you know, because I, I worked uh, third shift at the time. It was pretty hard. So, uh, you know, and I would, again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, get on the internet. I would actually personally go there. So they knew I would always make my thing. So uh, they would hook me up, you know, like uh, you know, if I was one or two days late, no problem. They, they would just uh, defer that and just let me take the normal payment and override that, which is pretty cool. Um, so sometimes it pays to, um, to actually, uh, you know, get off your butt and go talk to the people behind the business because times, you know, I don't know about you, but if I if I was working somewhere and I and you were a familiar face and we got along and everything, and you know the, I was providing a service, I could say, hey Joe or Bob or another TV viewer or you know a Anaconda X or you know, hey uh, we got this deal going on, I can hook you up right now, but are you interested? And you'd be like, wow, you're gonna save me fifty bucks? Hell yeah, I'm interested. I put in your name, hook you up because you know um, I see you as not just a customer but someone I talk to that uh, we become friends, you know, kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's always pluses to things like that. So here I am killing them, but I'm not uh, doing what I wanted to do. You guys kept me entertained here. So I will definitely get some life out of these. Hold on. Let's get this hard So just in case, I'm just going to mana up. And again, guys, you know, I'm going to be doing PvP, so I'm just going to get me a few, um, a few shards extra. And then I'll turn on the, uh, turn in the rest of the to bank.
So time goes by pretty quick. Before I know it, I will be doing a... Uh, I'm not really... I'll be doing a... Um, a battleground. How many more do I need? Yeah, I'll get a few more. <laughs> Here's another tip on a PvP server. You see a lot of dead animals. It's either Alliance or Horde. So if you want to PvP, just follow the trail. <laughs> and uh, you'll find uh, whether it's Horde or Alliance. And then it's up to you if you want to PvP or not. Again, it's up to you. <laughs> So, um, during one of my, uh, one of the pre-maids that the guild had, I had to listen to a guy tell us how much we sucked and everything. And I was kind of ticked off because I spent a lot of time with a lot of the guildies. And yeah, you know, there's good and bad everywhere. But for the most part, everybody helps each other out. So to talk smack about something you don't know, um, it doesn't work. However, he said something interesting and I kind of listened to it. He said that we're not so good. We're not good enough that we can't uh, solo PvP. I beg to differ. I've I've solo PvP a lot in, back in the day, and uh, every now and then I do. So I figured I would not do a pre-made. I would just go into a Warsaw Gulch or Narathi Basin and just do my own thing. Um, but again, my favorite thing is actually to hang out with the guild. So uh, unfortunately, um, as I said earlier. Really can't do that because everybody's kind of like reached their cap PvP wise. They don't want to go over that. Um, I don't believe I have. I, actually, I think I've fallen behind. I might not make my rank. I might make close to the rank, but at the very least, I'd like to try to. Uh, I'd like to. Oh, that's not what. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Um, I'd like to. Uh, if possible, do the best that I can to get that rank. Will I get it? I don't know. Will I try? I will try. So, uh, tomorrow's pretty much the due date. And, uh, yeah, that part's gonna kind of suck. Because, uh, I don't know if I've made it just yet. And I was going to actually uh, hook up with one of the guildies, Grund. But... Yeah, he's in Arathi Basin right now. So he's doing his own thing. I'm doing my own thing. Everybody's doing their own thing. E-I-E-I-O. So, um, yeah. I think the first one for me will be uh, WSG, Warsong Gulch. But I'm going to try to turn a few of these in. And I do find myself guilty of something in a PvP uh, in a battleground. Uh, sometimes I forget that I need to soul drain them so I can get a shard. So I, I end up running out of shards instead of staying, uh, staying with shards. The only time I, I, I have control of that is usually in uh, uh, Altrak Valley. For whatever reason, I do not forget that to get shards in Altrak Valley. Probably because we have so many people that um, kind of hard not to remember to get a shard versus uh, in uh, Warsong Gulch or at the Basin that we're all over the place and fighting all over the place. No, nobody's always got your back, you know what I mean? So, uh, and I do apologize, I was a little late. I, I was doing some uh, some uh, research and reading up, but uh, you know, um, I'm actually looking forward to the, uh, the next Matrix movie. Um, so I was kind of like looking at uh, if there's any new information out there. But what I got mostly was um, just um, theories about the old ones. Like they were saying like Agent Smith was actually the one, not Neo. And uh, because the final choice of saving everything, whether knowingly or not, was, um, was Mr. Smith who saved everyone indirectly. Um, I mean, there's, there's a lot of fan theory. The latest one is that John Wick and Neo are the same and that John Wick has to 
quote unquote break out of of his uh what he thinks he is like the perfect assassin and what he truly is which is neo so that's a little bit more colorful uh uh, view of the matrix and what uh, people are talking about and what they think is uh, going on. So these are like fan theories. Uh, it was pretty interesting. I found it uh, different, a different uh, view on things. Let me see. And fist weapon. Wow, giant bear claw. Claw of Cro-Magnus. Well, wow. looks like a dragon's claw if I've ever seen it. Okay. So yeah, you know, PvP, I mean, I could do world PvP, but um, sometimes you don't really want to, you know? I just feel like kind of bad if I just gank somebody that's just minding their own business. And usually if they attack, that's that's another thing. If they attack, I'll do everything I can to defend myself and kill them. Um, but you know how it works. They don't come alone. They come in, uh, in more than one. And I'm usually on the receiving end of that more than one. All right. So I paid 11 gold for this Librum of Focus, which is part of a quest here. Yep. So I have to uh, get something into Dire Mall, and I'll get uh, an Arcanum of Focus that can be used for um, for like a uh, for a slot item. So I get a permanently adds plus eight to your healing and damage from spells to a Legger head uh, head slot item. Does not stack with other enchantments for the selected equipment slot. It's all good. But uh, yeah, so I'm doing that. Let me see if I could turn a few of these in. And when I say a few of these, I'm referring to the shards. I, I don't want them all over my my bags. I just want to... Eskandar's right hand is insane, by the way. Increases your attack speed by 30% for 5 seconds. Alright, so Eskandar's right claw... Main hand, it does 50 to 94 damage. It's a fist weapon. Plus 4 agility. Increases your attack speed by 30% for 5 seconds. Okay. A set of 4. 1% chance on a melee critical hit to call forth the spirit of Eskandar to protect you in battle for 2 minutes. Cool. Alright. So I'm going to turn some of these in. And as you see, I got wars on Gulch. I do not know what will happen, but I will do what I can to survive. And if we win, great. If we don't great, it's all relative, you know. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. And uh, da, da, da. all right, cool. I'm not leader. So let's see what I'm trying to do here. Um, yeah. So, most likely for Warsong Gulch, it's not going to be we win three, like just three medals. It's usually painful, maybe one medal, then another medal, then the next one another medal. Because usually we get pounded on by uh, Alliance here. Um, and Arathi Basin, it can go either way, but if they're pre made, forget it. Um, sometimes this doesn't work for me. Yeah, it's not showing me anything really. So, um, yeah. So I'm asking if we should just defend Flag Room because we literally have no healers. <laughs> All right. Alright, so there's one flag uh, carrier that we got, but we don't have any healers.
<laughs> so I'm congratulating Seattle's on the best enchant ever by Sayonara to him. Alright, so I do not know how it's gonna go. Now look at that, I ran out of my own buff. Normally I get zapped or something happens to me around these areas. These here parts, if you know what I mean. Ah, I'll do what I can. Try to help out. One thing I won't do is... One thing I won't do is not do anything. I'll, I'll try my best. Alright. So, I'm going to put this bad boy on. I might need my, uh, my peasant collar active and ready. Where's our flag carry? Wow, he's fast. Surprisingly, that went well. You're in trouble now. Thank you. I think I'm gonna get killed next one, but that's okay. As long as I can do something. So far, I'm impressed. <laughs> Let's get those flags. So, I survived a few assaults so far. Look at that. Guy is the man. kind of shocked. I'm kind of shocked that we are doing so well. We don't really have a healer. At least we're not corpse camping their graveyard like some of the Alliance have done.
Alright, the only thing I don't like is that when I sometimes go for my soul, uh, basically the drain soul. Um, yeah. Usually when I go for that, it, I end up tapping somehow. What happened? Oh man, that scared the hell out of me. Alright. Good game. <laughs> Pleasantly surprised. I think uh, they let us have it. So, I get to turn in my Warsong Gulch in a second. So, he's going to drop the flag in there and we're, we win. That's it. And I got 20 kills and one killing blow, but no deaths. That is typically not me. Usually, I'm getting uh, killed, but I do like the uh, extra armor I have now. That does help. All right. <laughs> so we won a Warsong Gulch with no healer. I'm happy with that. So. I'm just going to put him. You know what? I'm going to put him down here. <laughs> oh, sweet. I did not realize it. Augustus and I. <laughs> Who was that mask guy? Let's take a look here. <laughs> Virgin. We should just do a bring me to. I think gun. Nope, he's still in a bat a Rathi basin. I don't know if uh, Augustus would do it. But that was pretty cool. So let's see what we got. A Rathi basin should be my next one. It's in 36. It's I've been in there 36 minutes. A little over 10 minutes, but uh So I'm asking if anyone else wants to join Augustus and I in pre -maids.
All right, so I only left my Altrak Valley intact, but I dropped my Warsong Gulch. All right. And see, guys? I went to uh, try to get a shard off of somebody. I ended up tapping myself. And this is... Uh, so I'm wondering if uh, finally my... My... Uh, not... I can't even say the same. The... Uh, the Nostromo, I'm wondering if the uh, buttons are starting to go, or just one button, my my basic uh, alt button that I set up. So if that's going, I guess I'll be putting in some money for another one. All right. Okay, so give me a second. I'm going to make some heavy silk bandages and sell them. was not even uh, there we go I was not even uh, soul linked with my pet So we could get Charia and Nazoikar to uh, join us, but they have an AV going on. So they might not be able to do that. Alright. Ah! I'm not drunk, people, okay? Sorry about that. Let me see which way do I want to go. And I was actually, uh, I was actually pleasantly surprised, um, because normally, like I said, I'm, I'm in worse on Gulch, I'm just killed outright. So I'm glad I was able to hold my own a bit. And, uh, I will be going on Discord, guys, so we'll see. Hey guys. Hey. Glad I can join uh, a battleground because uh, I think I'm going to be lacking for my rank 10 uh, on come uh, Tuesday. How much honor do you have? Um, oops. Let's How much honor do you have, sir? Yeah, I'm looking. Hold on one sec. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm, I'm new to rank 9, so I need 75% more to get that. So, let's see. This week, I've only made 37,000. Yeah, you got quite a ways. You're not going to level up this week. I... Yeah, no, I thought as much. I was like, I was hoping for like a, like the ultimate 4-hour AV for 40,000 honor. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> what? Who was it that right got now, the... you're lucky to get like 7 to 10k, you know, for me. Yeah, no, I, uh, I was, um, I'm streaming right now. I was, I was telling my audience, I'm like, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it this week. <laughs> I can always yeah, I'm do trying to, I'm trying to crank out a little bit more honor for two, uh, for today. I've got maybe about another... 15,000. Oh, nice. Are you going to make uh, the next rank? I don't know. It'll be probably close. What's your honor at? It's at, at about 360,000. Oh, sorry. What? Uh, how close? How far are you into rank? 45% uh, into rank 11. Yeah, 
It's pretty close. Um, a couple rack, I don't know how. There are a couple bracket busters. LF Tank GTG is rank 11, and he he's gone over the cap of 375 for our bracket bracket. And uh, there's a Druid B E I Z. Uh, he's gone over the cap. He's at three. He's at 395 this morning. Yeah, he's got a bracket 14 slot, and so does LF Tank. Uh, yeah, I don't know why they've given special dispensation to them at rank 11. Uh, uh, basically, LF Tank gets a rank 14 slot because he isn't going to stop doing it. So they're, they've made a deal that he gets a spot in rank 14 if he kind of goes to honor cap. And then uh, BZ gets a rank 14 slot because he added 500 people to the party pool. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's. I can understand that. And then octane you know, done. Wait, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna try and stay below 375. I, I, I'm running two honor tallying add-ons. One's called uh, Honor Spy, and the other one is. Uh, HPM, honor per hour or whatever, and they're not the same, they tally up the honor differently, and I think they're accurate. Um, like last, last night I looked at my honor from honor to 544, a little bit under 345k, and under HPH they tallied it a little bit over 353k, and this morning when the actuals were calculated it was actually 345k that I had, so... But neither of them are accurate, you know, so I'm going to try and get to, uh, uh, to 375. Last week I was only using Honor Spy, and it told me I was at 374, but I ended up being over that by about 8k or so. So I actually broke the bracket last last week, you know, not because I wasn't trying to, but because the towers were incorrect, so I don't know. Yeah, my last week I got probably an extra uh, 20k than what my thing said. Yeah, so I was off about 10k. I was at 385, and I thought I was at like 374 is what is what the tally was on Honor Spy. So I got, you know, I got my ear chewed off from dark, but then I explained to him what happened, and he was uh, mollified, I guess. So I'm going to so as you guys can see, uh, we're trying to work out, negotiate, so people don't go over the cap and screw everybody else. So it looks like they're lining up who's going to get the next rank 14 and, you know, next rank in general. Um, so I think it's it's it used to be an unwritten rule. Now it looks like um, uh, I'll look more into it, but it looks like um, a lot of servers are like, you know, let's work something out so that we don't overdo it and that that legendary rank 14 is a lot harder than it is so uh it basically it's a little bit more mutual work and trying to get in agreement to who's going to get what what's going to happen and everything so um i kind of let it talk for a, a bit since we will be uh, doing a battleground a bit uh, but i wanted you guys to hear that because um that can also end up being a moment of contention with other people because what if I want rank 14 and, you know, I don't know, I go for 600,000 honor and and uh, make two ranks and screw the system a little bit, screw it a little bit where other people are ticked off at me like, oh, yeah, how did he do that? You know, I, I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, in due time, we will see what happens on the server with that uh, because it basically falls down into agreements. So, uh, you know, but I didn't actually create it. And then today I got notification from the post office that somebody requested a change of address for me. So I'm thinking that this probably all goes back to that Equifax hack where they got a bunch of personal information several years ago and they're now trying to act on that. I'm, I'm on hold right now to, to the post office to try to so I get the social security thing cleared up 
uh, and that new account that got created was, was deleted, and then I created my own account, and, uh, and then I've got, I'm on hold now to the post office, and I sent them an email saying, hey, I did request this change of address. Gun Drelgo is with uh, Augustus and I. So Augustus is, I know it says AVG, V, S, T, V, S. Think of uh, ancient Greece and uh, the V was either a 5 or a U. So for in Augustus' case, it's a U. So right now we're still waiting on a battleground to pop up. I imagine these folks are successful in a lot of cases. Pretty sad state of affairs. All right, and if I switch over to the Royal Seal of Elder Thalus, 440 damage. I like this. Did Pooh get all the fun, all the uh, honor he needed? I don't know. They were on this morning when I logged on, and then they both just kind of logged out. So I haven't seen him since. Yeah, I uh, I was babysitting this morning for grandkids. Yeah, they've been off for like ten hours. But uh, I, uh, you know, I've got, you know, pretty much on close to where I am. So, guys, this is my go-to spot when I'm waiting for an AV. I'll just do a little bit of SM. Get about 15k more on her and I'll be done. So you heard it here first. I don't think I'm going to get my next rank until next week. Kind of sucks. I've just been solo queuing this morning, and I've been pretty successful. I've only lost one worse on golf, one couple, and one couple AB. So it's been... No, I'm locked out of Voldemort. Let's get this party started. What I like about the tracking hounds is they don't run away. We never felt so good. Good, didn't run towards the other, the other mobs. Okay. 
Normally here, guys, I just go for the whistle. See if I can get the whistle. And sometimes I'll turn it in for like 63 silver. Or I'll just um, use it. So again, we're still waiting on... Uh, yeah. Marathi Basin and Warsan Gulch. And you know what? In hindsight, I think I should have turned it in. But we'll see. And I am liking the extra damage that I do with uh, with my succubus, with a demonology build, with my gear now. And the gear's only going to get better. I don't know if I'm going to get some uh, tomorrow or next week or whatever when I do Zolgarg. But I'm now friendly with them, so... combination cannibalize and eat my foods I love it look how fast I regen everything now hold on <clears throat> okay and again guys I apologize I was a little late today so uh, expect that you know like I said my wife is working from home it throws a little bit of uh Things a little out of whack, but you know, it happens. It's all good. No biggie. As long as I can uh, talk to you guys in the end, I'm happy with that. All right. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get the battle chicken ready. Normally, I've been using the uh, the family, the Barrow peasant caller, and using them to uh, fight for me. But the only thing I don't like is they vanish after they kill the initial target. Whereas the battle chicken will, you know, it will eventually expire, but it will stay that one minute and 50 seconds. So, no complaints there. All right. I have not, uh... Okay. Let's see what happens. So good. Release the hounds. Oh, look at that. Proud today. Cool. I was kind of worried there a second. Usually I'm using my Void Walker for this. So if you're a little bit lower level and don't have the gear, do not, I repeat, do not use anything other than the Void Walker. Because if things go south, they will go south. All right. And that's if you're playing a lock. If you're playing any other class, um, you know, it's, again, all dependent on gear, your skill level, and what you're using, weapons of choice, um, you know, abilities. Uh, can it be done solo? Of course. Look at that. Still there. Woo! Battle chicken for the win. I hug the battle chicken. Such a short life. Too, too bad I can't lay an egg or something. You know what? Let's take a look. Look at that. That's loyalty.
I should call that battle Chicken Jeffrey. I don't know why. It just sticks now. Alright. Let's see. Guys, it's the waiting that kills. But again, this is the closest area to Undercity, and, uh, you know, I'm sure that Augustus might probably be in uh, Orgrimmar, so that should be interesting. Oh, I'm in combat. problem here. Let me just uh, heal up. And of course he's going to try to hit me with that. Yeah. No problem. Brutal but effective. And at least he didn't get everybody in the mum here. That's a good thing. All right. I don't want to take too much time because this might go off at any minute. Nope, maybe not. I'm looking forward to the Altarac Valley. I'll probably make most of my honor there today. Started. Actually, there we go. Really after whatever loot uh, that is in there, I'm just glad that it's not locked. That would have sucked. Okay, what do I got that I don't care about? There you go. Just a footnote, best way to uh, get two mobs in the same place if one is a caster, move out of the way, they're out of their line of sight so they have to chase you down. It'll save you some pain in the long run. Alright, so I'm out of basically out of room. So I'm just going to hearth back to, uh, to Undercity. Actually, I don't even have to do that. I could just get rid of the items that we need.
Yeah, fire resist 22, not too bad. Again, guys, this is just my go to since it's so close to uh, Undercity. Let's have some oh, hold on, hold on. Let me not do that. Alright, looks like Arathi Basin might be next, or possibly, ooh, possibly Warsong Gulch again. So, I am going to get back. There we go. Turn some things in. Not a whole lot of money, though, but something is something right now. So, I was semi farming basically. Quick about your business. And is there anything here? Did not mean to sell that. Alright, so these I will mail to my uh, other tune, my bank tune. Why not, right? everything here. That'll do. And the heavy silk bandage I will just make. I could get 80 silver for that. Hey, all I need is 20 more silver and I'd make one gold there, so I'm not complaining. So right now we're just still waiting. Okay, got 20. Guys, the only down part, whether you're waiting for a dungeon, whether you're waiting for a group, whether you're waiting waiting for a raid, uh, whether you're waiting for a battleground, the only thing is time. That's the only thing that gets wasted because you really want to do it, but time doesn't always give you that comfort. I mean, sometimes you're, you you want to do a raid. Uh, like last night, I wanted to do Zolgara, but guess what? Couldn't do it. Why? Because it was late. And I did not want wife aggro. Uh, I don't think anybody does. So I uh, opted, I think, rather wisely to not do it. I think that was a wise call on my behalf. And uh, yeah, got plenty of sleep. Oh, this guy's expensive. I could buy one. I'll wait till the price goes down. All right. Take a look at the magic quarter. Battle chicken. Bates, here we go. Hello. 
Q pops. If you're in AVQ. Not in AVQ. If you're in AV, we leave group and then go into your AVQ. Do not stay in our group. No, this is Charlie and Cyan. Oh, okay. I don't I don't have a pop yet for uh, Rathy Bass in a war song yet. Yeah, I was talking to Charlie and Melissa. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, we're in two different queues. That kind of threw me hey, off. Hey, I'm leader. I was like, what just happened? I don't see the queue. I thought something messed us up, but... Two different groups. And the yawn was from not sleeping very well last night. But I still want to play today. <laughs> Let's see if I have to do any repairs. Now well, looks like we're gonna get a new member called named Tac Tac. Be quick, buddy. Hmm. Let me just go outside this area. Whoa. It's like I'm riding drunk today. Forsaken. There we go. Cool. So Tac Tac joined the guild. Tac Attack. 39 Undead Priest. Cool. There we go. Another war song. Okay, war song called just popped. That's weird. Okay, I hit go and... Alright, finally I'm in. It glitched. <laughs> I like canceled it or something. I was like, what? No. It just vanished and I wasn't getting in. Talk about a delay, people. Uh oh, let's see something. Yeah, don't worry on me. Oh, good. Hey, Ominous and, and uh, Gun Girl, uh, why don't we go up to Battle Group 1? That way we'll be, we'll have our own Discord. Discord. Sure. Sound good? Yeah, it's good. So the reason I put my succubus in passive is I don't want it running off for whoever hits me first. I want it near me. So I get I can tell it who to attack and not to attack. If it's defensive, it's just gonna attack other people and die really quick. I don't want that. Can you hear me? 
Yeah, it looks like we got a uh go out, but we'll probably get killed. Oh pre made, I see it. Atish pre. <laughs> yeah, it's a pre made. Run to the side here. Catch it. This guy over here that's trying to run through here, since you're ready to go invisible. Let's go back into our flag group. I'm in the flag group. We'll get killed out here. Too late, they're on me already. Yeah. You guys are be good and don't kill them. Yeah, I got owned a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you get a, you know, paired against a pre. pre Alright, I am kind of like lagging, you can see it. Kill the flight carrier once, that won't happen twice. Yep, a big group is coming up. Yeah, the big... Kill their healers. No, we protect our healers pretty good. I'm missing a shard. Let's go clean him up in the flag room. See if there's any straggler. Yep, I need more shards now. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be painful, but at least they're not one-shotting me like they used to. Let's see, what can I do for... So I use this too quick, the shadow burn. Not the best thing to do. I guess they want us out there to get their honor. Thank you. 
lot of dying. <laughs> I'm like, my arm! Someone get my arm! Ah! <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to go on a go AFK. The post office called me back. I, I have a case of mail fraud that I'm have. It wasn't yeah, I had given. to go offline. Uh, somebody fraudulently submitted a change of address. Sorry about that. Would you kill in game that hates you that much, man? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I'm being picked on. Somebody tried to open up a social security account in my name uh, last week. I got notified of that and had to handle that through social security. And then this week I get a change of address notification. And so I have to go through the post office and so they're picking on me. I think it's all related to that, that credit bureau hack a couple years ago and people are now starting to act on it. So you might keep your eyes and ears open on your own yeah, good call. That's true. Because I don't know where they get all this information if it wasn't. Too... Not using it. <laughs> I need to get used to uh, using the Defiler's Talisman. Give me a little bit more uh, breathing room. Kills. True, true. Trying to get some uh, health in here before I 
that rogue tries to gank me yet again. kills do I have at least? Hey, 39. All right, not too, too bad. Kills. All right, honorable kills, six deaths, and three killing blows. All right, I will leave the battleground. We did not win this one, guys. But if we win another Warsong Gulch, that'll be six. You'll probably do an Ar Arathi Basin next. Well, let me turn this in. These, yeah, I need to get me some shards. That's the problem with the other battlegrounds, Arathi Basin and uh, Warsong. I always forget to get shards. Well, that was fun in a weird sort of way. Yeah, we didn't just give it to them. I mean, they had to earn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we wiped them a couple times, and these guys were pretty high rank. And they are all coordinated. I mean, they're all talking in band or in their, whatever they're just. It, it looked like I don't think they expected that uh, they would get some resistance. Turns out resistance was not futile. <laughs> all right, so let me go and get me some shards. Okay, let me just put a few over here and over there and over here. And why not? I'll do one more. Cool. Bravo. Power to the Forsaken. I'm asking if anybody else wants to join us in a pre-made. Looking for something special? And... Wow. Literally one hour left for Altarc Valley. I don't know if I'll, I'll be able to see it. now to do a little farming so I won't be able to queue it unless somebody else is there. We've got a AB queue that's like 49 minutes overdue so 
Okay, 24 minutes. I think Charia said he wanted to join after we, uh, after he gets up. Sorry, Azarok and Sinara. And Charia and Nazakar is out. It's on an AB too, so those four might. Oh, yeah, I see them in AB. I just saw Orcasm outside of Inorgrima. I thought he was in one of the groups, so I was hoping he'd also be like, yeah, sure, I'll do it too. <laughs> sure. Uh, if you're still in Orgrima, I can pass your lead if you want to re him at some point in time. If somebody wants to join and re I'll pass your lead. I'm... Are you still in the Arath Arathi Basin and Warsaw Gulch? Yeah, Warsaw Gulch oh. and Arathi Basin. Uh, and, and then I've got it. Yeah, I've got <sighs> Warsaw Gulch and AB. The AB join, you know, as a as a group, and then a AB is a single. Thank you. Yeah, because I'm. I don't know how much longer I have before uh, I have to. Uh, Step out for a bit and then get back on later. <laughs> yeah, no problem. And that's another reason why you want to use Discord. E easier to communicate. The guys that we fought, the pre-made, like... Uh, yeah, we've got about... Thir 15k more honor I wanted to grind out. So we'll see what happens. Oh, there's our Oh, AD. yes. A Rathi base. So, yeah. Always important if you you have Discord, if you're going to plan something with a good group, a guild, or just a group that you hang out with. Discord. Easier to communicate. We'll see what we get. I mean, it, the, the ideal situation for me in this, you know, and I have... You know, different people have different different strategies, but I like to get BS farm and LM. If we have the three, then I'd like to sit kind of on that little rise between BS and farm, and that way I can go to you know, either LM or or farm or BS just real quickly if they depending on which. It sounds like we'll good. see if we can hold those. Yeah, I'll follow you. I'll, I'll follow whoever you know. We'll see if we can hold those. You know, if we can hold those three, get those three, then, then you know, we have a real advantage because you could, if you sit, have your team, you know, have a small team sit, sit, situate themselves between the BS and farm, then you can get the BS or farm or LM real quick, if, if depending on what. Yeah, this some... battleground is is really favors the horde side, you know, because of that. For some reason, I can't. I can see the it's horde side, but I can't see the alliance side. Like I can't see. In some in some instances, I can't. Yeah, I'll yeah. You won't until the la until within thirty seconds. It'll be it varies, but they don't normally show you who's who's on the alliance until the very last. Uh, if you keep it up, it'll you know be point. If you click on the alliance tab, it'll eventually show you. Ah, uh, gotcha. I thought it was a bug or whatever. <laughs> Right now it just says 14 hard players because they, they're not telling us how many Alliance players there are and what they are. They'll wait till the end. They, the Alliance side probably doesn't see ours either. It's just... Okay, so it's a Fairbanks pre-made. Go after BS, though? Let's, let's go to Lumber Mill. Let's just... We won't win this one. I mean, Fairbanks is a good PvP squad. I don't think we'll win it. We'll just go up to Homer and see if we can take one. No marshals, though. We'll see.
Fight at the flag. Yep. Incoming LM. <laughs> Resing it though, Dan, go to the GM. Go to and we're all at LM. Oh, my famous flag is coming back. Go to the GM. On my way. Otherwise, you'll get trapped up there in the defiler's den. And if, the, if you're trapped up there, don't rest. Don't take the risk. Walk out. Walk away from the spirit hill. Oh, they're they're one of those that don't just camp the graveyard. And yeah, they'll probably camp on or kill. Okay, I'm caught in a trap here. Kill us here. They'll, they'll run a whole bit. We'll... Saves. I mean, we're not going to get So, uh, don't. Okay, Res. that's it. So they, they've won. We're not camp at the graveyard so we can come back out again. Try to focus down one of the stragglers and get an honor kill if you can. Nope, everybody's in agreement. It's a wrap. Let, let them have mines. Let them win. Make your way over the mine, I guess. I need to get closer. I had to try to use it.
They're on your server, Abbey. Do something about it. I will try to join them. People are saying don't res, just give them the game. So don't res, give them the game. Now at least we got one. I'm like, man, they have a long memory. They said all lines on Fairbanks are salty because we camped them in Iron Forge during world during world PvP. So Abbey is like, yes. Alright, so they do have a long memory. Can't make my way to the mine. It's like, yeah, why not? <laughs> They're like, we really haven't messed with them since Battlegrounds came out. They keep bringing it to us now. I was like, maybe you should a bit more. <laughs> Show them their place. Should uh, charm one of the one of those warriors. And, uh, and I'll try. Here. Yeah, they won't let me uh, fear him. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, they've got a healer and three warriors, so there's no way we're going to take them. I'm like, his head came clean off. <laughs> I don't see where their healer is. Just giving them honor kills. If 
anyone's nabbing kills, it's them on me. Hmm, <laughs> that was a good jump. They're here, way down there. Are you seeing me today? Down there. Sashi? Saishi? He's down below in the, the valley there. Bring him in here. Looks like they want to. <laughs> oh, they could kill us easy. Here they come. I will not win this one. Don't release, bro. All right, guys. I am on the end. I was just target practice. <laughs> yeah, I was just target practice for those guys again. I was target practice too. There's, oh, there were too many. They gave gang up on you and then they had a healer so i mean three warriors hitting on me and then they have a healer to boost me. It's just... all right so i'm turning in my arathi basin and i'm turning in the war song all right it happens Yeah, as soon as I hit their priest, they uh, they started swarming me. <laughs> oh yeah! How dare you hit our priest? <laughs> you can't win unless you get the healers out. True. The healers do a lot more healing than you can do damage. They're you know, in that respect. So, unless you can take out their healers, then So yeah, guys, I'm not going to make rank. Might get up to here. Maybe less. However, next week I'll definitely make that rank. Alright, guys, I'm going to actually call it. I will be back on later, but I'm going to have to call it. I want to do an AV, but I won't be able to right now. Got to help no the uh, the wife. <laughs> have a good one, guys. All right. Bye-bye. All right, guys. So I will step out.
And uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll see what uh, is going on. Hopefully I can do a dungeon or something with the guys. We'll see. If I'm a little bit late, I'll see if we can, uh, you know, I'll try to get back on. Because if I'm a little bit late, I might actually be doing a dungeon with, with the guild or something. So we shall see. Or raid. Uh, until next time, this is uh, Ominous. And this is Strategist Plays. And uh, I will see you again next time. And thanks for joining me.